welcome to write to read virtual classroom okay children see uh, what you can see in the screen yes there is a picture of see gorilla is there and uh, this is a nice uh, poem it was uh, written by martin honeyset so we'll see see this is the picture of him right so we are moving to the poem today it's a nice one we'll see mm, yes see okay before uh, explaining it uh, we will play it right uh, gorilla a giant gorilla came to tea whoever asked him it wasn't me he came in through the kitchen wall it took six chairs to seat him all he drank his tea straight from the pot and sandwiches he ate the lot after that he at last decided to go who invited him i'd like to know an extract from the poem gorilla by martin hanizet okay before explaining the poem i would like to go back to the uh, picture there you have a picture right so uh, yes see uh, the picture of gorilla from the book haven't you have that uh, next page you have that yes see activity 10 you have see this picture see you can see a what you can see a table also see some uh, uh, cup and saucers are there see from this picture you can imagine how he is big and all that's why i was uh, i was searching this picture because it's a nice thing to see now we will move to the poem right see a giant gorilla came to tea whoever asked him it wasn't me he came through the kitchen wall it took six chairs to seat him all he drank his tea straight from the pot and sandwiches he ate the lot after that he at last decided to go who invited him i'd like to know right so a giant gorilla what do you mean by giant i told you from the, the picture also see we we'll, shall we look at it from english dictionary what giant means yes any creature of exceptional size that means very big a great mass huge and bulky that is giant right a giant gorilla came to tea so is these gorillas are drinking tea do you uh, do you think that gorillas are drinking tea i mean if i ask you this sort of question the poems you read everything which is there in the poem is it really uh, is it exactly true or is it imaginary yes the answer is it's imaginary right we have to think we have to have some sort of a idea regarding this sort of a gorilla is coming a big size one right like a uh, like a elephant type gorilla right a, a giant gorilla came to tea whoever asked him i didn't ask him to come do are we ask for example are we inviting elephants to come and have tea with us no right is in that manner so this gorilla has come to tea whoever asked him it wasn't me i'm not the person who asked him to come and have tea he came through the kitchen wall he's coming through the kitchen wall right it took six chairs to seat him all so he can't seat by one chair he was he wants six chairs to seat imagine the size of him right okay he drank his tea straight from the pot uh did gorilla put the uh, did, uh, did gorilla uh, take a pot and put the uh, i mean take it, uh, take the tea from a pot and put it into a cup and 
like that way drink it no he didn't do like that from the pot it seems he drank the tea straight from the pot and sandwiches he ate the lot he was uh, uh, he was eating whole sandwiches which is kept in the tea table right after that he at last decided to go who invited him it's a really a question for me who invited this person this gorilla to come i'd like to know i want to know the fact that who is the person who invited this per, uh, the gorilla to come and have tea right so it's an extract from the poem gorilla by martin honeysit i showed you a picture of this poet right so he's a, he's a poet who has written many interesting i mean funny uh, funny poems like this okay so it's about gorilla right so see uh, okay if I, uh, after reading this after reciting this poem is uh, some sort of a idea some sort of a picture goes to your head regarding gorilla and he is having uh, he is seated in six chairs and all you should have a imaginary picture in your head after do, uh, reading this poem right so okay write answers to these questions in full sentences so if they are asking you to write answers in full sentences you can't write answers in half sentences because they are asking you to do it fully right okay the first one is who is the animal mentioned in the poem right so the answer should be gorilla is the animal mentioned in the poem so that is the full sentence right what is the answer who is the animal mentioned in the poem gorilla is the animal mentioned in the poem okay moving to the second question where did he sit down to drink his tea he came in through the kitchen wall it took six chairs to sit him and him all where did he sit down to drink his tea he sit down in six chairs to drink his tea what is the answer he sit he sits down in six chairs to drink his tea right okay moving to the third one what did he eat so what is the answer yes in shortened forms it sandwiches right but you have to tell what did he eat he ate he ate sandwiches he ate sandwiches right how did he drink tea so how did he drink tea after that he at last decided uh, so okay he drank his tea straight from the pot straight from the pot not putting the uh, tea to a cup and drink straight from the pot so how did he drink tea he drank his tea straight from the pot he drank his tea straight from the pot right okay number 5 did the speaker invite the gorilla for tea so what is the answer for that a giant gorilla came to tea whoever asked him it wasn't me he came in through the kitchen wall and all so who invited him i'd like to know so what is the question now did the speaker invite the gorilla for tea did the speaker invite the gorilla for tea no the speaker didn't invite the gorilla for tea what do you mean by speaker speaker is the person who has who is telling the poem to us right did the speaker invite the gorilla for tea no the speaker the, uh, the speaker didn't invite the gorilla for tea right number 
find the rhyming words in the poem. Okay, what do you mean by rhyming words? Rhyming words in the sense. So the, I mean the pronunciation is same, but meanings are different, right? So we'll see. A giant gorilla came to tea. Whoever asked him, it wasn't me. T rhymes with me. He came in the. He came in through the kitchen wall. It took six chairs to see him all. Wall, wall rhymes with all. He drank his tea straight from the pot and sandwiches he ate the lot. Pot, lot. After that, he at last decided to go. Who invited him? I'd like to know. Go rhymes with no. Right? So, yes. That is the end of the poem. So, what did you do? For homework, what you have to do is for homework, you have to write the question and answer them. Right. Okay. Now, look at activity. Uh, yes. See activity 11 also. Here, of course, listen and underline. It's a very easy activity. Copy the following words into your exercise book. Then, underline the words from the pair your teacher pronounces. Okay? So, this is, of course, actually, in your English teachers are having this uh, listening text with them. See, if I say like this, Fine pine. This word fine. Fine pine. What can you say about this? Fine pine. Is it same pronunciation? Fine pine. If 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 I say is it rhyming? Yes, right? Fine pine. Supper suffer. Supper suffer. These are of course same pronouncing words, right? Fan pan. Peel feel. Fin, pin, open, often, chair, cheap, for hope. So these are helpful for us to do what? F, F sound and P sounds. For homework, you have to practice these sounds. That's what I'm telling you. What to do? If, if uh, now, especially your teacher will ask. If, if she asks you to read this, you have to read it. Fine. It's not... So, you can't read like this. Fine and if, this is not fine. So, if you say here fine and for this also you can't say fine. So, this is fine and this is peers, right? P sound, fine. Super. This is what? This is supper. This is supper. This is supper. Supper means what you have for lunch and all. That, that is supper. And this is suffer. Fan and pan. See, these are the pronunciations. So, from the tongue twisters, these things are coming. Fine, fine, supper, suffer. You have to, what you have to do for homework? You have to practice these words. How to read them? Supper, suffer. Fan, pan. Peel, feel. Fin, pin. Often, open, often. This is open, this is often. Chief, cheap. Fork, poke. Okay, can you do it for homework? What you have to do? You have to practice these words, right? Okay, that is that for homework. And today we were discussing about a very nice poem. What it is? It's about gorilla, right? So, actually, I was, uh, I was telling you a nice uh, poem regarding gorilla how he enters and how he was seated with the help of six chairs and what did he do? He was eating all the sandwiches and how he drank the tea and all. So, for homework, what you have to do is you have to draw a nice picture regarding how the gorilla enters the house and how he sat in the dining table and have tea and those, uh, the, what is uh, what is there in your head? You have to draw a nice picture. Because as grade 6 students, you have a lot of, uh, I mean, imaginary things are there in your head. Like, uh, 
do you like to watch those uh, adventures of Tom Sawyer and all? Nowadays, you have those uh, nice storybooks available in internet also. You can search those books and read. So like that way, this is also a nice poem which you can have a lot of imaginations. So make it a point to draw a picture as well. Okay, children. Today, we were discussing about this poem and we were discussing about some tongue twisters. So make it a point to uh, practice those tongue twisters for homework. Before ending up the session, I would like to tell you some important thing. That is, of course, regarding this Read to Me app. The, when you consider about this Read to Me app, with the collaboration of Ministry of Education, they have started this Read to, uh, Read to Me virtual classroom sessions. From these sessions, you can learn a lot of things. Rather than that, do you know that in your smartphones, you are having this Read to Me app student version also? There you have homework. So make it a point to do this homework. These uh, homework also available from grade three to grade eight upward, eight upwards. So take the maximum use of this Read to Me app. Okay, children. Thank you very much for listening and have a nice day. Goodbye.